Hello everybody and welcome to another Nephilim build. Today we're going to restore humanity as Death from Darksiders. As always, keep in mind that these videos are about capturing the spirit of the character rather than capturing their abilities perfectly. With that said, let's start with ability scores. Using Point Buy will make Charisma 15. He was an edgelord back when that was still considered the epitome of cool. Next we'll make Dexterity and Constitution 13. He's squishy and even though there's a lot of parkour, the dodging in this game kinda sucks. We'll make Strength 12, he does a lot of jumping, pushing, and pulling, and we'll make Wisdom and Intelligence 10. We don't need either, but neither really feels like a negative. For Race, we're going to go with Azamar, putting our plus ones into Charisma, Dexterity, and Constitution. I know I used Custom Lineage for War, but I needed the extra feet then. We'll get Dark Vision of 60 feet, Celestial Resistance, Healing Hands, and the Light Cantrip, and Speak Common and Celestial. We'll take the Soldier background, getting Military Rank, Athletics and Intimidation, Land Vehicles, and Dice. Moving on to Class, we're going to start off as a Fighter. We'll get Strength and Constitution saving throws, pick acrobatics and animal handling, and be proficient with all weapons, armor, and shields. At level 1, we'll get Second Wind in our fighting style, taking 2 weapon fighting. We're now immediately going to multi-class to Hexblade Warlock with the Council as our patron. At level 1, we'll get Hex Warrior and Hexblade's Curse, and level 2, we'll get our Invocations. We'll take Agonizing Blast to make our guns stronger, and Grasp of Hadar to yank someone towards us. We'll also get our Celestial Revelation, picking Necrotic Shroud for our Reaper form. At level 3, we'll get our Pact Boon, taking Pact of the Blade. Something to note here. Hex Warrior says that its effects apply to any packed weapon you make, but it doesn't say you can't also still pick a non-packed weapon like normal. Turns out we've had dual-wielding warlocks for a while now. Now we're going to multi-class to Paladin, getting Divine Sense and Lay on Hands at level 1. At level 2, we'll get Divine Smite and another fighting style, taking Defense. The dodging sucks and the enemies track harder than Morgoth on Adderall, but by god I'm going to have some survivability in this build. At level 3, we'll get Divine Health and our Sacred Oath, taking the Oath of Vengeance. Until Armageddon starts, the Horsemen are basically the Council's hit squad. We'll get Channel Divinity, Abjure Enemy, and Vow of Enmity to become unstoppable. At level 4, we'll get an Ability Score Improvement, which we'll use to take the Magic Initia feat. We'll take Message and Prestidigitation from Wizard, as well as Find Familiar to get Dust. Next, at level 5, we'll get Extra Attack. Going back to Fighter, at level 2, we'll get Action Search, and at level 3, we'll get our Martial Archetype. We'll go with Echo Knight, getting Manifest Echo and Unleash Incarnation for Soul Splitter. Now we're going to multiclass the Divine Soul Sorcerer, getting Favored by the Gods and Divine Magic, picking Neutrality. At level 2 we'll get Fanta Magic, and at level 3 we'll get Meta Magic, taking Empowered Spell and Quicken Spell. At level 4 we'll get another Ability Score Improvement, which we'll put into Charisma. At level 5 we'll get Magical Guidance, and at level 6 we'll get Empowered Healing. At level 8 we'll get one last Ability Score Improvement, which will cap our Charisma, and we'll end with level 9. Now that we're level 20, we finally have our Modifiers. Now to talk Spells. As a Sorlokadin, our spellcasting ability is Charisma. Our spell save DC is 19, and our spell attack modifier is plus 11. As a level 3 Warlock, we'll have two second level slots and two cantrips to choose from. We'll take Booming Blade for our charge attack and Eldritch Blast for our gun. We'll also have three spells to choose from, taking Cause Fear because death is scary, Hex for more damage, and Spider Climb for some parkour. With five levels of Paladin and nine levels of Sorcerer, we count as a level 11 Multicaster. This will give us 4 1st level slots, 3 2nd, 3rd, and 4th level slots, 2 5th level slots, and 1 6th level slot. For Paladin, we'll automatically get Bane, Hunter's Mark, Hold Person, and Misty Step for the Teleport Slash from our Oath, and have 7 other spells to choose from. We'll take Compelled Duel to 1v1 a bitch, Cure Wounds for a Health Potion, and Shield of Faith for more AC. Next is Thunderous Smite for a bigger charge attack, Aid for more health, and Find Steed for Despair. Lastly, we'll take Find Objects to find treasure chests on our map. Moving on to Sorcerer, we'll have 5 cantrips to choose from. We'll take Mage Hand for Reaper Grabby Hands, Sword Burst for Harvest, and then Blade Ward, True Strike, and Resistance to fill the slots. We'll get Protection from Evil and Good from our Affinity, and have 10 other spells to choose from, taking False Life for Temp HP, Feather Fall because what is Fall Damage, and Magic Missile. More projectiles the more power you put into it, sounds like Frenzy to me. Next up we'll take Enhanced Ability for more Superhuman Abilities, Spiritual Weapon for a Sub Weapon, and Spirit Guardians for Reaper Storm. We'll take Thunder Step for a more damaging Teleport Slash, Death Ward because it's great, and Stone Skin for Aegis Guard. Our last spell will be Insect Plague for as close to a Murder of Crows as we'll get. Going back to the main sheet, we'll take a pair of Scimitars for our Scythes. Remember, one is our Pact Weapon, the other is our Hex Warrior Weapon. Both can use Charisma. Also, why Scimitars and not Sickles? Because we're already going to have to reflavor them, might as well pick something with a better damage die. We'll take a set of Half Plate Armor, he wears everything but the chest piece, and a component pouch for spellcasting. Our AC is 18, our movement speed is 30, and our average HP is 143 with 3d8, 8d10, and 9d6 hit dice. And with that, we are done. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments. We recently hit 700 subscribers, so I'll see you all next week for another legendary build.